bake the Christmas Kitchen Crew designs, which were originally designed for aprons or shirts, and make stickers, a really fun and economical way to use this bundle. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a shape, and we're gonna unlock up here, and we're gonna set it to 6.75 by 9.25. That is the amount of space we can use for a print and cut project. And then I'm gonna just make it a lighter gray because we wanna know what our spaces are. Then I have uploaded the six designs already just to save time and also a 2022. In the bundle, I've included 2022, 23, 24, and 25. So if you wanna do a design with a year so you can give them to anyone, you can do that or you, I'm gonna show you how to add names. So I'm gonna select all of these and add them to my canvas. Now they're obviously set up to be larger than you need for stickers. So I'm just gonna make them smaller and then spread them out. Just might not use them all at once, but I wanna know what I'm working with. I don't know why this one does this. So what you need to do if you're using this one is ungroup it and then select these lines because you're gonna put the name in between there. Move that all down there. Oops. Move the curve up there and then put it back together and then make sure the lines and the text are aligned centered and then just regroup. So if you ever have any issues with any files, mine or others, that is what you can do. Now I brought in this, the SVGs instead of the PNGs so that we have options. So let's say we're going to make this one as a sticker and we're going to put someone's name in it, but then maybe we want other stickers that don't have the name in it. So I'm going to just take and delete the two lines. So now we have one with lines, one without lines. Okay, we're gonna use, I'll do a few with names. Cleanup, also very important. I'm gonna make a few of these. I'm gonna turn this one sideways. And let's say maybe we want it to be the 2022 Christmas Cleanup Crew, so we'll make that into a sticker. So you just wanna fill this space. So obviously I'm doing a wide variety of sizes of stickers just to show you how it works. All right, so we have all of those. And I'm just gonna close them up over here so it's easier to see what we're dealing with. Now we're going to, now if you were to send this right now to try and print then cut, it's gonna print and then it's gonna cut every single letter, every single cookie, not at all what we want. So we need to set up the cut lines. So we're gonna go back to shapes and I'm gonna do a rounded sticker. Now, if we do it like this, it's just gonna stay a proportionate circle. So again, we need to unlock and then I'm gonna move it where I think it's gonna be to make it white and then I'm going to I can do send backwards or I can just drag it back behind all of the well I don't want it I want it above this basic cut so that we can see where it is in comparison to the sticker design so now we're just going to do that and again I don't know why it jumps to the top it feels like this one should jump to the top but this is how it works. At least this is how it works for me. So I just make them, drag them to the back, make our shape for each of our stickers. Okay, now we have our shapes. We're still gonna be moving them around a little bit and all of our designs, we're not gonna use this one, so we're just gonna delete that. Now we need to add our names. So you're gonna to go to your text and you're just gonna type a name and then I'm just gonna leave it as Cricut Sans. Otherwise, you can search for fonts. You can get a lot of free fonts if you do the Cricut Access subscription. You can pay for individual fonts, but we're just gonna use this one for now. Then if I click the color up here, it's going to give me material colors. So these are the colors that are used in the sticker designs. So this one, I'm going to make green. So it looks good between those red squiggles. Oops place that there and then I'm going to copy that do a new name and make this one red and then do one more 
want to make this one brown to match the cookie. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is we want to make sure these are all lined up. See, this isn't centered within the shape that cut shape that we made, so that's not going to look like a very professional sticker. So first, I'm going to hide this background square that lets us know we're all in line, and then I'm just going to drag over each, and I'm going to go to the align, and align centered. Then I'm going to choose the name and the design, and I'm going to group that, and I'm going to choose the background, and then I can also align center vertically so that that is going to be nice and centered. Now, if you didn't add a name, you can just do both center horizontally and center vertically without having to group anything. You want to center horizontally before you group just to make sure the name or the date and the design are lined up. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. So then I'm going to group those, and then I can align vertically. All right, so now each of our stickers is lined up. So I'm going to show this outline again and make sure everything is within the lines. You don't want something, so you don't want a sticker that is like off the edge because then it's not going to cut the whole sticker. So everything has to be within these guidelines. So now we're gonna hide this square, and to turn this into a print and cut sticker design, we're gonna drag over everything, and we're going to flatten. And then you'll see it says print then cut. Now we're gonna choose make it. It's gonna show you one canvas, so you know that that's going to work properly, and then we're gonna click continue. Send to printer. Now this is super important. Do not leave add bleed on. You're gonna turn that off, and then you're going to send it to your printer. All right, once it's printed, you're gonna choose your base material and you're going to load your materials onto your mat and follow these directions. Make sure you have the fine point blade in clamp B and then you're gonna click the button to load. But I loaded my materials, it'll show that it's loaded there and then it tells me to click go. I always do fast mode just so it moves faster and then I'm gonna press the flashing go button. Then it's really important to make sure you have good light over your Cricut because it does need to read those registration lines which is the big black rectangle that it prints around your sticker designs and that is how easy it is to do.